My next guest is a very talented comedian. How did a guy sneak on the show tonight? <laughs> no. right. He's a regular performer at the Comedy Cellar in New York, and he can be seen at Caroline's on Broadway in New York on November 15th and the 16th. Please welcome Mitch Fatel. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. My name is Mitch, and I'm very funny. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I think about sex a lot. That's why I'm glad I'm not religious, because if you're religious, you can go to hell just for having an impure thought. How do you not have an impure thought? The only thing I would be able to do would be to just change it in the middle and hope no one noticed. <laughs> like, I'd be like, oh, man, she's hot. I'd like to do her a favor and read her the Bible. <laughs> Thank you. Some guys like to watch pornographic movies, like Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, That's man. okay, Kevin. You're lonely. I watch them. I watch them sometimes, but not a lot. Because if you watch them a lot, you start to think what they're doing is normal, and then you get in trouble. <laughs> like my girlfriend will be like, "What are you doing? Oh, like, spanking you." And she's like, why? And I'm like, because you're a bad girl. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, OK. And then she started spanking me. And then she started beating the crap out of me. And I'm like, I think we have a misunderstanding here. The only thing I like about the pornographic movies is you get to see the girls in their underwear. And oh my god, that is so sexy. I think girls are even sexier in their underwear than naked. I even have a subscription to the Victoria's Secret catalog. Well, I don't have a subscription. My neighbor does. She just hasn't received it for a couple years. Yeah. I love that catalog. Those girls are so beautiful, and they wear garter belts. Oh, my god. I love garter belts. I can't believe there was once a time when women wore garter belts all the time, not just to be sexy, and then some guy invented pantyhose. <laughs> that guy's a major league ass <laughs> What was he thinking? All his friends are working on inventing a car and a phone, and this moron's like, look, honey, I stapled your panties to your stockings. <laughs> Thanks. I'm very funny. <laughs> I'm the funniest boy in the world. I think I'm getting old, though, because all my friends are getting married, and they want me to get married, too, and I don't want to because it scares me. I don't know why. My best friend David just got married, and he loves it. He's always like, my wife is my best friend. And then she leaves the room, and he's like, mother of God, please help me. <laughs> Run and warn the others. <laughs> and plus, when you get married, you have to wake up next to that person every day for the rest of your life. That's bad. <laughs> I don't think human beings are meant to wake up next to each other, because something happens to us in the middle of the night that I don't think other people are supposed to see. <laughs> And it happens to everyone, because my girlfriend is beautiful, but when she wakes up in the morning, it's like a science fiction film. <laughs> She's like, give me your kiss. And I'm like, you give her back her face. <laughs> Thanks. I'm very talented. <laughs> I like being a boy. Being a boy is fun, because you get a penis. Having a penis is fun. It's kind of like having a friend that always wants to play. I, I do everything with mine. Yeah, we go skiing together. And my penis is like, look out, tree. And I'm like, thanks, penis. I'm glad I had you out. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Nice job. I'm not sure I want to shake your hand now, but nice job. <laughs> <laughs>